Hello, my name is Trisha, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Feed Me Monster Ball Toss game. You're going to design and decorate your own unique monster mouse out of a cereal box. Then you have lots of fun playing and see if you can toss a ball into its mouth. You better feed him before he gets hungry. To create your monster ball toss game, you're going to need a box. I'm using an empty cereal box. You can use a shoe box or a tissue box. We're going to decorate with paper. I'm using colored paper and white paper today. You can use paper or card. You're going to need some markers. You're going to need a pencil, scissors, ruler, glue stick, some sellotape, masking tape. And for extra decoration, if you have a hanging line around, you can use that. I'm using feathers and pipe cleaners, but you might have stickers and diamantes lying around as well that you can use. First thing we're going to do is tape shut the open ends of the cereal box. You can use cello tape or masking tape. So the first thing we're going to do is create a mouth for your monster and that's what you're going to be throwing your ball into. So you want it to be quite big, it can be any shape you want, but you want to leave a frame around so you don't cut up right up to the edge. I'm just going to draw with pencil first of all. I'll go over with marker so you can see that. So now we're going to cut out the mouth. You can get an adult to help you with this, or there's a simple way to try and cut it out yourself. Firstly, you're going to get the pencil and push the sharp end of the pencil, so it's the tip or the nib of the pencil, into the cardboard to create a hole. So you must hold there, and then you're going to do this a few times, a few holes close to each other. You can run your pencil across them to connect the holes. Once you have enough of these created, this will form an opening for the scissors to get into and for you to then cut out your mouth. So now to cover the box, we're going to use the box as a guide to measure out our paper. So just using the back. So we're going to trace around the outline of the box. So I'm lining it up to the edge of the paper and I'm tracing around. Depending on the size of your box, you might need two bits of paper. It's okay. So that's going to be for my front color. So you're going to need one for the back as well. I'm going to do a different color for the back. front and back side. And now you're going to need paper to cover the sides as well. So you have four sides. Two are short and two are long. Same thing. You're just going to line it up against your bit of paper. So I'm lining it against the edge here. I'm just going to trace around it. I'm going to need two of these. So I'm lining it up against the last one, I'm tracing around it again. Now we need two of the short ones. So again, I'm just lining it up against the last one. I'm using all the same color. So I'm just going to cut this all out. So now you have your four sides, two long, two short. 
and front to back for your box. So we're going to cover the front of our box first of all where the mouth is. So I want to use purple for this. So you're going to put glue along the outside edge of the piece of paper. Then glue in the middle in the shape of an X and the plus sign. I'm going to do this for each shade of paper, but for the front, because we have a hole cut out, we're going to need some extra glue around the mouth. I'm just going to add some glue around the edge of the mouth particularly and around the front like this. And you're going to get your paper, line it up to the edges and press down. So now we're going to go around the edge and do the same thing. Glue around the outside edge. X in the middle and a plus. Is there any wee bits that are sticking up? You can also use some toilet tape then. Flatten it down. And again, you can attach the edges. Any bits are still sticking up. So now to cut out your mouth, the easiest way to do it is to feel the paper to where you feel the edge of your mouth. Or you can feel the cardboard and the paper dip. And what you're going to do then is just gently poke a little hole, as we did before, with a nib of the pencil into the paper. And you can do this a few times. until you can fit your, your scissors through. So you can cut until you feel the gap. And then cut up until you meet the cardboard. Just gently feel in where you feel the cardboard. Cross in. And you can fold these in to help you find the shape. So it'll help you cut it out to size. So now we're going to transform the box into a funky monster. You're going to get creative, add eyes, teeth, ears, anything you like that you can imagine. You can decorate the monster however you like. Use paper, card, markers, pipe cleaner, stickers, or anything else you might have around. You can attach everything with either a glue stick or a tape. First thing I'm going to do is create my teeth to sit inside the monster's mouth. So we don't want them too big that the ball can't fit in, but we want to add a little bit of a challenge for people. So I'm going to use white card for this. So I want to be able to stick the teeth underneath in there so they stay down. So I want it wide enough that it'll stick here and hang down a bit there. onto the back of this, stick 
the inside like that and press it in so it stays in place. And I have another tooth down here. I just do a singular the tooth this time, so I might just do not create the tab and just have the tooth on its own. Glue just at the bottom here and pressing it in. For extra security, you can also add tape to the inside there if you wish to hold the teeth. So I want to add some eyes to my monster as well. I'm going to use white card. It's a heavier white paper so it will stand up a bit. And I'm going to need a tab again to fold over to stick down. Just going to use my ruler for this. Be any thickness, but I'm doing mine about an inch. And you're just going to gently fold along this line. And where the pencil is, you're creating a crease. Doesn't have to be perfect again, it's just so the paper can stand up. This is how we're going to do your eyes. And I want nice big eyes. I'm just roughly drawing them in paper, pencil first. And I'm going to colour them in a marker now. So I can cut out the outside parts here while keeping the tab still on. What I'm going to do then is add some glue. So quite a bit of glue on this, on the tabs. And you're just going to stick them down like this, pressing on against the back. Out any edges and then add a bit of extra cello tape for security. So there's your eyes. You might want to add some decoration as well. I'm going to give mine some spots. So I'm just going to cut out some spots here, some green spots. And so I don't end up having to cut out loads of individual spots, I'm going to fold over my paper. Couple of layers there of spots for cutting this all together and you can draw your spots out first if you find that easier and cut it out. Cover different sizes. What I do then is add glue to the back of the paper spots and stick down. And use it to cover up any of the bits of sellotape that you want to hide. You can decorate the sides as well if you wish. You could give him horns or ears, anything else you want. I might get mine some ears. 
And again, you just draw it on roughly out. You want to leave a tab here for folding down. I'm going to draw a line here where I want my tab to be. And you're just folding down where the pencil line is roughly to give you your tab. So you're going to use the stick on in. So I'm going to trace around this so I have two ears roughly the same size. Same thing, just make a tab. And I'm just going to cut out. Another semicircle to put inside the ear. And fold in paper over so I get two the same size. I'm just going to stick these down. Putting glue on your tab and pressing it where you want it to be. Apply. Pressing down on the tab. And again, you add a bit of cell tape if you want it to be more secure. So I'm going to add some extra decoration now with pipe cleaners. And to twist my pipe cleaner to create antennas, I'm going to wrap it around my finger. This will create a nice spiral. And then I'm going to tape these down. behind the eye just to hold it in place a bit better. So now you can add extra decoration you want. I might add some feathers. So you can leave the mouth inside blank, white as you wish, or you can use your marker and colour inside here. Um, I'm actually going to stick a bit of black paper in now uh, for my mouth, maybe a red tongue. So I'm just going to measure roughly how much I need. So I need to cover the gap of the mouth. So maybe about this much. Just going to use a ruler. inside, they need to be roughly about this width. Same thing, we're just going to put glue all along the outside edge, do a big X in the middle and a plus. And squeeze it inside there. Now I want to stick a tongue in. Just going to roughly measure out how big I want the tongue to be. Same thing, putting glue all around the edge, an X and then a plus. So now we've finished your monster, it's time to create a ball. You might have a small ball lying around the house that you can use already. If not, we're going to scrunch up paper. Just lightweight paper, it can be any colour you want it to be. And just scrunch it into your hand. Until it forms a ball. And that can be the ball that you toss in. You can keep it scrunched like that if you wish, or you can sell the tape around it. And that'll keep it in better shape. So you can have your ball sellotaped up like this, 
or scrunched up. Once you're finished, you're ready to play. Toss the balls and try to get them inside the monster's mouth. You can play alone or with others. Whoever feeds the monsters the most balls will win the game. You can stand your monster box up and try out different distances or different size balls to try and get it in. Anything's possible. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you had lots of fun.